Here we are again. Yay. Hey, Chef Joe. You don't seem very excited again. Yay. Yay. Yeah, that's not very excited, but Yay. Uh, Chef Joe is better than Captain Joe. No offense. I'm taken. You're going to show me again something so that I can feed myself. Absolutely. With walleyes. Absolutely. And do it easy. Easy is the key on that whole deal for everybody, yep. including yep. me for sure. Yep, yep. yep. What gotcha. We, I don't. I honestly don't even know what we're doing. So well, you know, winter's here, you know, and it's it's a little chilly outside. So um, we're gonna do a uh, a Manhattan walleye chowder. I don't like clams, really. They're kind of nasty. I just don't like clams. You like making clams? Yeah, yeah. You don't like eating clams. I don't like eating clams. Fair you, do you like clams? No, sir. I don't either. Um, so we're and you know blue cheese, clams, Creole. That's right. I, I know where we're at now, brother. They ain't going to happen again. So anyhow, um, we're going to make some walleye uh, Manhattan chowder, and, and uh, pretty easy to make. I mean, I, I you know I have faith in you. Once once you see me do these, I know you could do it with the recipe and and hanging out. Not that you'll have time to do it, but you could do it. So we like simple and easy with walleyes, of course. Yeah. First, we're going to start on medium to high heat in a nice little copper pot. There, you can okay. use whatever you got. We are going to slice some bacon, okay? I already like this. You like bacon, I know you do. So we're gonna cut it about quarter inch across there. We're using about four slices. Gonna get her going across there, no big deal. Now I know you have brand preferences on everything from chips to, to mayo. Hormel apple, son, applewood bacon. I knew there was gonna be an answer. Apple, applewood. You, you fired that off so quick. Apple, applewood, applewood. I'll use Kroger, man. They 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 get their pigs somewhere. I don't know where they get them, but they're not applewood. I could reach don't my hand either. and eat that bacon right now. Just <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put some garlic in there too with it. I like it. You like garlic? Ah, uh, just want to get it going so we get some we get some fat going. Stick it on high. It don't. It does not hurt to cook on high as long as you're as long as you're watching what you're doing. You know, cook it pretty quick. This is another. This is another. Uh, another recipe that's pretty simple. So, so how long are you doing that for? A couple minutes, three or four minutes. Let it cook a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna add. Uh, we're gonna add. This is roughly a cup and a half of onions, probably. Put some onion in there. You like it? Yeah. Get it going. I told you if I can wrap my finger in it, I might eat it. <laughs> That's right. Then we're gonna go with some, uh, we got a little carrots and celery here. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna put it right in there. Then what are we gonna do also? He's got to season it. I mean, that's what he does. Salt and pepper. The reason, man. The reason to season. You know, it's it fairly bland. I mean, I feel like we're going from a tin in here, but I mean, salt and pepper is it. You know, I hear so much from so many guys, um, and, you know, women too, but um, they'll be like, man, my, my husband really tries to cook, or my wife really tries to cook, but, you know, once they put the dinner on the table, I got to put a half a half a half pound of bacon and salt or pepper and salt on it to make it good well as, as your as your season that your the seasoning is being incorporated into what you're cooking versus just putting it on top at the end so you get all the flavors going mm, applewood smoke I think we're off to a good start applewood smoke bacon dude we're gonna take a couple cup, uh, cup and a half or so of uh, those little golden potatoes. Okay. Um, no preference on the on the brand. No brand. No Kroger Kroger brand, brand whatever it was, golden whatever. Half cup or cup and a half. Okay. Okay. About a cup of um, red bell peppers. Okay. Okay. Easy peasy. We're gonna we're gonna let that do what for a while? Simmer. Saute. Oh, saute. Um, you know, it can cook. Cook it down for you know five ten minutes. Just stir it occasionally. There's 
Man, can you smell that, dude? Delish. Oh, my lands. I can just, I can come over here and smell that. I, I'm going to tell you, you can even maybe put something spicy in there as long as you put bacon with it. I might, I might <laughs> you can, look at that. You, is that, that is that pretty? Blue cheese in there? Oh, no, don't. You're getting carried away now, dude. No, no blue cheese. Little golden potatoes sitting there. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. That's pretty. I got two 14 ounce cans of fire roasted tomatoes. Okay. Okay. In the juice. Save them. They got. They're run, runny, something runny, runny, whatever, at Kroger's. They're, they're fire roasted tomatoes. Cute. We're going to put that in there. I mean, Kroger's goes from taking kind of a shot to, to a lot of love. Yeah, there, there's, some, there's, some, there's some love there. It's kind of an up there's and down. Some... Oh, magic can. It's kind of an up and down. Okay, so we put, our, we put our fire roasted tomatoes in there. So we're going to let it cook for a little bit. Man, you smell that now. But what are we gonna do? You're gonna season. You it have again? to do it with. You have to do it with so, with soups. You don't want to put it all in at the end. So put just yeah, put another. Put, put another shot know. in. We are gonna put some some bumblebee all natural clam juice. This was purchased at Walmart because Kroger's didn't have any, so we made a trip to Walmart for the Bumblebee all natural so let me get those straight. clam juice. You like smelling clam juice, but you don't like clams. Yeah, I don't like the clams. You are a complicated guy. Yeah. This is uh, eight ounces, okay? okay? We're probably gonna use another one. Do you hear that pop? It's like a Snapple top. Now, now what kind is this? The tuna? The clam juice. The tuna brand. No. <laughs> it's bumblebee. Same thing. They make the tuna. Bumblebee makes tuna. Oh, do they? Yeah. Do you eat bumblebee tuna? What? No. What's, what's up with Starkiss? You don't eat no Starkiss tuna? No. You... <laughs> no. I can't stand you. <laughs> Gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take and I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak some, some blue cheese into some of your stuff. You know that now that I got that. Uh, hey, and then we're gonna add some we're gonna add some vegetable broth, organic. Okay. Pacific Foods doesn't matter. It's all the same. It comes. It's kind of like it's kind of like anything else. There's one company that's making this stuff. Everybody puts a different brand on it. Probably about a cup. Maybe a cup and a half. Ah, uh, maybe two cups. Yeah. Just watch the watch the pot when it gets a little bit full. It's going to be good. Get enough to get. Probably, it's probably two cups. Let me see how much is in this box. I mean, you're like me fishing. You're just kind of going by the seat of your pants. Pretty much all the time. But it, but it, you know, it's worked out so far. This is 32 ounces, so we used about half. So that's two cups. Two cups, 16 ounces. Okay. Maybe just a little touch more. You tell me Two and a half cups. If you're going to tell me you're going to season it again, I'm going to kind of roll my eyes. <laughs> uh, then we're going to put... Now this is... I, I've been seeing those laying there, and I didn't want to say are, nothing. These are bay leaves. We're going to put a couple bay leaves in there. And those are dried. Yeah, they're dried. And what, what exactly is that going to do? Just the flavor, just the season. So that little thing is going to season. That's right. They're pretty, they're pretty potent. potent. Yeah. Look at your bacon, your celery, your carrots, your taters are in there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to, we're going to let this um, basically come to a boil to make sure that the taters and everything are nice and done and soft. And then we'll, and then we'll simmer it. Then we'll bring it down to a simmer. Then we're going to cut our walleye. Okay. Because we don't want the... We don't want the walleye to fall all over the place, fall apart, and we'll cut our walleye up in little chunks. We're gonna put about we're gonna put about two tablespoons of tarragon in there. Tarragon, no. You can buy you can buy tarragon. It's just a spice. No. 
Um, <laughs> you can buy it that's fresh. That's powerful. Oh yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty potent. You can buy it fresh or you can buy it dried. Very, very good spice. You ever heard of Bernay sauce? You are so far past me right now. Okay, like Hollandaise. There's, there's like Hollandaise sauce. You know, yeah, like they put on that? poached egg and yeah. whatever. Well, there's a Bernay sauce that you put red wine and vinegar, or red wine and tarragon in, and you reduce it, and the re the red wine gets flavored in with the tarragon, and then you mix it in with the hollandaise. It's this good stuff. This is not just a walleye. This is an all-around cooking experience here. It's the it, this is the real deal, man. Legit. I'm gonna throw a little parsley in there too. Um, if you go if you go to the store and you want parsley. Oh God! Here comes the Kroger deal. No, oh, you know parsley is so cheap. Um, you know it doesn't last forever. But if you're going to cook and cook with parsley, don't buy the don't buy the stuff in the jar, man. It's dried out. It don't has no flavor. You know parsley is like ninety nine cents a bunch. It's nothing. So if you know you want to cook with a little parsley or for one of these recipes, go get you a little bunch. Kroger's fine. Okay. They keep it misted and nice and wet and. All that good stuff, nice and cool. We're still talking about parsley? Yeah. Okay. That's naughty, son. Naughty good? Naughty good. <laughs> naughty real good. So this has got to simmer for, you know, I want to I wanna almost bring it to a boil and then slow it down a little bit. And then uh, and then we'll put our fish in it. So I can sit on the stove there for a few minutes. All right, now, so, we've been simmering this for about 10 minutes. Okay, make sure the taters are done and I'll get all the flavors in there. I added a little bit more stock. Probably used a whole a whole quart now, which is four cups. So, um, and then some clam juice. So you might have a little bit more liquid there. So now that we're bringing it down to a nice simmer, okay, nice simmer. We're gonna grab, uh, we're gonna grab some walleye here. Look at that. Nice. That's nice hand there. You, you trimmed them up for me, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got to trim this off here. Just get this off. Get rid of that. So we're going to put these in, not to get ahead of you, but we're we're not going to poach these or cook them because it's actually going to happen. Well, it's in there. Okay. Yeah, we got it. We got it simmering real nice. That must have been one you caught. <laughs> Just get rule number one. You got to go, Joe. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm going to cut these kind of in bite-sized pieces. Okay, take this off here a little bit. So just, you know, chunk it up a little bit. And uh, we'll put it in there, right, in the, right into the soup, and that's, that's what's going to cook it. And uh, you talk about real good. Perfect for a cold day. Eat some crackers with it, some oyster crackers, get you some... French bread or some baguettes and sit down in front of the fireplace and if you have a fireplace if you don't then sit at the kitchen table. So you get an electric heater? Maybe? Yeah I get an electric heater. Okay. So we're chunking this up it's quite a bit of fish this is probably two pounds um, that we're putting in there but you know what if you're gonna make it and it's the main deal then go ahead and make it. I like it with more meat anyhow. That's right. You, know, I mean, you don't want to eat a bunch of broth. No. You don't want to eat some meat. So then we're going to put it right in there. Got a nice simmer going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, see how fast it's cooking already? See how it's, I mean, it's cooking already. Doesn't take very long. Just like poaching, you know? Remember how we seasoned our water before? Now we got a big bowl. Now we got a whole big bowl of seasoning. Look how that fish cook. Look at that. Gorgeous. That's another reason you want to cut it up too, right? Yeah. It cooks yeah, it. yeah. But let it simmer for a few minutes. And this is the uh, this is the Manhattan style. And you could probably do the same thing with a different style chicken. yeah well yes absolutely you know you make the cream the, the cream style you use you know you make you we make have a to do that again. yeah make a stock and then you add some cream to it and, and thicken it use a thickener maybe a little roux you know a little butter and flour or uh, 
So how long does that, once you get the walleyes in, how long do you want that to cook? That's probably done now. Five right. minutes, five, ten minutes, yeah. So the big thing is just, you, you, like the potatoes, is that what has to go the longest? Yeah, I mean, you want to make sure the potatoes are soft. Um, we use this, these little bowls for some presentation purposes and little taste purpose. Give me a couple of spoons here. Sorry I stepped away there for a minute. The hand must have had to go use the restroom or something. <laughs> Yeah. See that there? Look at that. Falling apart. Just, just falls apart. And like I say, you don't want to, once you get the fish in there, you don't have to beat it up as much, you know, because you want some, you want some substance there when you go to eat it. So one last thing we're going to do. You're going to season it again? I'm going to season it again, brother. It's a job. Somebody's got to do it. See, if I, if, if I did this and, and you taste it and you were like, man, that's bland. This is bland. You got to see it. Yet, no, uh, you know why? Because I'm seasoning. Because I'm seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, no. The way you live, if, if this caused you to need blood pressure medicine. <laughs> Listen, when you go to a restaurant, you know what I mean? They're always like, oh, this is so good. Because they're using tons of butter and they're using all that creamy, good yeah. taste and stuff. Yeah. It's probably the best for you. Yeah. Sorry, I stepped away there a minute. I just got to make sure. And you should always taste it. That's good. Real good. Oh, okay. I don't know how many L's were in there. Okay, you ready to try this? Let's do this. Okay. Because neither one of us like clams. Yeah, no, no, no clams for us. Oh, yeah, big old hunk of walleyes right there. Nice. Too nice. Two nice. I'd, I'd probably give it a four nice. You might be getting ahead of yourself, but I'm listening. Let's do this. So this is Manhattan walleye chowder. Chowder. Yep. It's a little warm. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm letting mine cool off a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. What do you think? I like it. It's hot. Yeah. A little tater in there. Yeah, try it. You know I'm hungry when I'm trying to. Yeah, trying to eat that fast. Good stuff, folks, guys and girls. Um, Are you going to taste it? Yeah. Manhattan style walleye chowder. Simple to make. Total cook time, you know. I mean, it, it, it's got to simmer. It's got to do some things so you can bounce around and do whatever you want while it's on the stove. Prep time, cook time, 30 minutes maybe. I like it. I just do. Good stuff.